drove by the Beijing community where the woman diagnosed with Omicron lives. Remember, health authorities say all of this sparked by just one case, at least for now. Uh, here we go. You can see here, this is one of the entrances and exits. It's gated off. They put these big blue barriers, folks, from going in and out. The woman's neighbors allowed some fresh air, but confined to the complex. Their trash piling up, waiting for specially designated disposal teams to truck it out. Many nearby businesses closed. The woman lives a 15-minute drive from the Olympic Park. Not only where she lives that health authorities have it locked down, but also where the woman works, which happens to be in a bank inside this building. So out front, you can see, they've got these blue tents set up where a lot of times they'll do testing and processing before they can finally declare it safe enough to reopen. But if you think it's just a bunch of empty offices, look closer. COVID control staff carting in big boxes. Inside them, can you read that? Pillows, bedding. People have actually been locked down at work, and these supplies might make their stay a bit more comfortable for what could be days of testing. Omicron not only in Beijing, Cases also surfacing in several other Chinese cities, including Shanghai. Social media showing snap lockdowns trapping shoppers at one store. Outside this mall, a person posting that this woman was emotional, wanting to hold the child who was staring back at her from behind the glass. Although it is unclear when the woman and child were reunited, officials kept the mall closed for two days as they tested those inside, performing a deep clean before reopening. Sounds extreme, but most online voicing their support for the strict containment efforts. Less than three weeks until the Olympics and recent outbreaks had 20 million people sealed in their homes. Others bust to centralized quarantine. State media showing these makeshift encampments built within days. Mass testing is a constant. Back in Beijing, I hopped in line for my regularly scheduled COVID test. Test number 97. Done. But if you think the heavy measures have brought life here to a halt, most who are not traveling might say otherwise. On Sunday, crowds flocking to this popular Beijing lake, frozen just in time for the Winter Games. Families enjoying the chill and seemingly confident officials will keep COVID in check. Let me take you back to that one Omicron case right here in Beijing. How to get here? Well, the woman who has contracted it, according to health officials, hadn't done any traveling. It's now been revealed, according to health authorities here, that it's very possible that she got it from a package which she ordered internationally, from Canada, they say. Now, we should point out, health experts around the world have pushed back on the suggestion that this virus is being transmitted on the surfaces of things. They say it's more likely that it's through the air. Nonetheless, it's been something that has been pushed heavily here by Chinese health authorities, that it's possible it's an imported threat. And that is something that plays into the narrative, Casey and John, that this virus came from outside and is continuing to cause issues here to the point where even those of us who are foreigners are often questioned how long we've been in the country. When I tell them I've been here nonstop since before the pandemic started, they're a bit more relieved. But that's what's being pushed consistently. David Cutler, thanks for that. David is a remarkable reporting the entire pandemic there. And what a crucial moment with the Olympics. You know, three weeks 